neck spins by turning. Most tutorials out there cover neck spins where you tilt your head for the exit to get a whip on the plane behind your back, but it comes off uh, the neck again. Um, but you can also do this exit by turning. For me, in the beginning, it was easier to do this, this turn. It was, for me, less scary because all the time you had the whip in front of you and not something happening behind your back. Um, but that might be different for everyone. The next spins very exit by tilting your head. You can do them inwards and outwards, and I started the inwards ones here spinning on the super side. You start uh, in the same way, you spin here up, and the moment where the whip spins up, you um, turn your head forwards so the whip can hit your neck. And then when the whip comes around here, instead of just doing this head movement, then you take a step, uh, it's probably easier when you just step around here in front. So then you take, take a step, all the time you keep your head tilted forward, and then you turn around, and then you, the whip can come off your neck here on the other side. So it looks like this, spinning inwards. Here's the neck, you turn around and the whip comes off the neck again. And you turn in the direction of the spinning. So I'm spinning here inwards with my surface side hand towards the piece lady and I turn here towards the piece lady. So it's the same direction. So once again, spinning inwards like so. Showing from the side, spinning inwards, looks like this, and showing from here, spinning inwards, like so, coming off in front on your wood plane. The other hand, that's the piece lady side hand spinning towards the sofa, and when the whip spins up, you tilt your head forwards, the whip goes round the neck, spins up here, and when it starts to spin up here, you turn with a step here in front, and thereby you take the whip over here and it can spin off your neck on the other side. Once again in motion, so spinning here inwards, and turn. Once again, spin inwards, keep your head down and turn. Shift this from the side. So I'm spinning now towards the, the wall and then I also turn towards the wall. Like so, keeping your head down. Once again from here. So, like so. Or showing it from this side, now spinning towards the window. So, and when it repeats, turn towards the window in one step and can exit here in front of me. Uh, for outwards, it's exactly the same. So, when you're spinning here, now with the sofa side hand towards the sofa, again you turn into the direction of spinning. So, when you're spinning towards the sofa, also turn towards the sofa. So it looks like this. Once again. And for the other side, the same thing. And also showing this from the side uh, with my left hand spinning here. So I'm spinning towards the wall, turning towards the wall. And when I'm spinning towards the window or towards the camera, turning towards the camera. Showing the other hand, um, spinning upwards towards the camera, turning. Spinning outwards towards the wall and then to
mehr den Todesten auch. You can also turn into the other direction. So when you're I'm spinning here towards the peace lily, and then I can turn towards the sofa. And in the very first beginning, when I first tried this, I found this actually easier. Um, I don't find it easier anymore because you have to do a lot more with your neck to keep the whip on your neck. Um, because in that direction, the whip does not wrap around so much around your neck. You have really to to do something to keep the, the whip on your neck when you do this. So then, spinning here towards the piece lily. You see, it's just here, the whip is around my neck, and here already coming off. And if you really want to take it all the way around, you have to, to really help with your neck and, and follow with your neck what the whip is doing. For me, it was easier in the beginning. You can try it. By turning in the opposite direction of the direction of spinning, you can use later on for other nice stuff. So, for example, when I'm here spinning my piece lily hand towards the sofa, and then turn towards the piece lily. I can let the whip just swing behind me while I'm turning, and when I'm done with the turning, then add the next spin. Um, that's a nice variation, but uh, a bit more advanced, just to keep in mind that you can do other stuff with the other direction.